5G channels. Uh, here we will be discussing and naming in this slide we will just be naming some of the uh, 5G channels and how they are mapped onto the transport and logical channels. So here you can see that they are logical channels, they are uh, transport channel but we are more interested in physical channels and what actually uh, it has. So here we were talking about in our earlier slide SS block, sy synchronization signal block. So what it has, it has PSS and SSS to calculate PCI, it has DMRS, demodulation uh, reference signaling, it has PBCH for MIV and as MIV information, CSIRS, I, I, al uh, I also uh, stated in earlier that CSIRS measurements can also be uh, used to do beam management and also to identify a particular uh, uh, beam and uh, this can be used and this is called channel state information reference signaling and the downlink control is uh, again having a, a particular demodulation reference signaling and uh, a PDCH normal packet data uh, uh, control signaling for packet data normal uh, which we were having in LT also. DMRS and PTRS are again demodulation signaling with respect to downlink synchronization channel and PTRS which is uh, basically phase tracking reference signal. We will be discussing in next slide what actually the difference between different channels and what actually they have inside it. Uh, in the uplink again DMRS, PTRS, PUSCH similar to LT and PUCCH similar to LT and DMRS and again yeah they have a PRATCH for the uplink for initial and SRS as I discussed in my earlier slide so because UE wants to uh, send some of the uh, reference signaling to uh, the G node B which can be done through SRS and this can be enabled or disabled as per the requirement. So let's move on to the uh, next slide of what actually is having the 5G NR signaling and 5G NR reference signal is having a PSS and SSS to calculate the uh, PCI as normal procedure what it was done in LT time synchronization and fra uh, frame synchronization PTRS is compensation phase and time uh, time shift track the phase at local oscillator at transmitter and receiver PTRS enables suppression of phase noise and common phase error especially at higher millimeter wave frequencies reduce common phase error at high frequency so uh, so PTRS what we have studied like PTRS is very important when we talk about millimeter wave because it's uh, at millimeter wave the uh, frequency is very high and to basically suppress phase noise and common phase error which is occurring at the boundaries is very important. So compensation of phase and time shift, uh, time shift is very important. So track uh, track the phase at local oscillator at transmitter so they calculate the phase at local oscillator at transmitter and receiver and compensate that, that phase shift when they receive that frequency and data on the uh, when they are receiving at a very high frequency so PTRS is mainly compensating for phase and time shift, uh, uh, time shift and reducing the common phase error especially at millimeter wave so what we have in DMRS, demodulation reference signal transmitted on demand used by a receiver for radio channel estimation for demodulation of associated physical channel. So it's basically demodulation reference signaling which is used to basically demodulate the signal. Uh, it's simply the modulation, uh, the modulation and the uh, conversion, mod what is modulation? Modulation is basically when we uh, modulate a signal carrier according to uh, some different technique it could be amplitude modulation, phase modulation, frequency modulation means we are putting our input data in terms of amplitude, frequency or another. So this is the demodulation reference signaling which is used to demodulate the data at the receiver end. CSIRS is channel state info uh, reference signal measures channel state in downlink and reported by UE to G node B for MCS and RAC connection. So CIRS is especially for measuring the uh, signal, measuring the RSRP, measuring the RSRQ uh, uh, for a particular cell and then reporting that to G node B so that G node B can allocate 
a proper modulation scheme and rank selection when it comes to MIMO. SRS uplink sounding reference signal estimate uplink channel and set downlink recording in transmitting with reciprocity in MIMO. So SRS is I, as I show I show in the earlier slide that SRS is used by UE to send a reference signaling and talk to G node B in the uplink. So what actually is done that sets a pre-coding in transmitting and when G node B decode that R SRS it re it produces a signal for UE in downlink as per the reciprocity concept in MIMO. So there are different concepts like reciprocity is also one of the concept to how to uh, basically send a downlink uh, signal from G node B to uh, UE when it comes to uh, uh, basically they are reading the signal from the UE to G node B and then uh, repeating that kind of signal in downlink as per uh, the what 3GPP has defined. This is a, it's a common method of producing a particular transmitting signal so that UE can understand and UE can uh, make best of, out of it. In the next slide, we will be studying uh, 5G SSB block, SIB, NIB, MIB, how it's like different from LT and how they are transmitted. Uh, this we have seen in earlier slide when we did uh, beam management but here we'll be telling what it has actually and how it works so we'll be uh, seeing this in the next uh, slide 